Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Mark from Sound Masters. So today's topic is about the fact that I bought my daughter a Crosley record player for her birthday, which is probably going to get me a whole bunch of abuse on this channel. After all, they have a pretty bad reputation and that is exactly what I did get. I got a whole bunch of abuse when I did a demonstration video for beginners on how to use one of these record players. But I am adamant that we need to be welcoming to those who don't have big budgets into this hobby. You know, um, I'm going to do this video today about why I've done this because I do think they have a place, albeit a very short-lived one hopefully, for those who use it as a stepping stone into this hobby. Let me explain further in today's video. So yes, despite the fact that I know that they're not particularly good, I did buy my daughter a Crosley record player for her birthday because she asked for a record player for her birthday. There was no prompting for me. It was really nice that she actually came to us with that as a suggestion when we asked her about birthday gifts, probably because she's shown um, an element of interest in the stuff that I do, stuff that I listen to, the stuff I, I have in this room, particularly a lot more recently, and she really enjoys our family listening sessions of records of an evening in the living room as well. That being said, she is only seven years old, and I want to see if this initial interest goes beyond the novelty before we invest in anything more expensive or more complicated. If she enjoys this, shows further interest, I'll add some better speakers to that Crosley record player. If she goes beyond that, still shows an interest, then we'll look at upgrading the turntable as well. So of course I'm aware that these are essentially a fashion accessory bordering on toy. They track clumsily, they don't sound very good, they can potentially be bad for record wear as well. I'm aware of all this of course, but at the end of the day they do offer a gateway to the experience of playing records for those who can't afford anything fancier. And you know what? At the end of the day, she's seven. She's not exactly going to jump in with a clear audio concept or a Lin LP12, is she, at the end of the day? I've said before on this channel countless times about how I think immense snobbery and gear shaming potentially puts this hobby at risk, particularly as you do need younger people to come through in the hobby if it is going to survive into the future. And you know what? So far, none of these bad downsides, if you like, from the Crosley record player, not even the tinny sound that comes out of it, have so far dampened her enthusiasm for the entire process. She describes it as her favourite gift from her birthday. She just loves the fact that she can enjoy music in her own bedroom, a space that's 100% hers where she can chill out and relax. And, you know, in part, this is exactly what this is all about. It's about a love of music, sharing that with our loved ones, sharing that experience, I guess, you know she shares something that she's now got an interest she can share with me as well and you know it's it's just beyond the sort of instant gratification and abundance of modern streaming platforms and anything like that I think should be encouraged. It's been a real joy as well to see her embrace the entire process, you know, learning how to use a record player properly, using the cue lever so she doesn't scratch records in the process, learning how to handle the records in a way that means she's not touching the grooves and getting them all greasy. I even bought her some of these record mitts to help her handle 12 inch LPs more easily. Her small hands, of course, can't really handle a 12 inch LP in the way that an adult would in a normal kind of way. So these are really helpful actually to anyone who wants to get kids involved in a small way with the whole record collecting process. And it is really a joy to share the whole thing with your kids as well. So to conclude, I say it's time we cut down on the Crosley bashing as record collectors. Snobbery will kill this hobby if we allow it. It's about time we embrace all new record collectors, no matter how involved or not so involved they may end up being. For some people, it's going to be the start of a lifetime hobby where they really accelerate their love of music on a whole new level. For other people, it'll be much more casual. For some, it may not catch at all. But for those of you who may choose to, you know, throw your toys out of the pram because they've bought the wrong gear in your eyes. I think that just makes us all look like elitist snobs. But, you know, that's just some of my thoughts. Let me know yours down in the comments of this video. But that's all for today. If you would like to support this channel further, please do check out the discount codes in the description of this video. that are always there to help you get money off vinyl gear to enhance your hobby at no extra cost to you. I get a very small commission and I appreciate your support. You can also support me further on Patreon. You'll get exclusive content every single month. Once 
once again thank you to those who already support me on that platform if you're new to this channel please do consider subscribing i would love to have you on board my vinyl journey with you guys and until that next video do keep enjoying the music and i will see you in the next one cheers